Yeah, basements are full of water again in areas like the Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood and the Gross Points. Larry Spruill is on Detroit's east side tonight. Larry, you spoke to several homeowners and they, of course, of course are really tired of this. Kimberly and Devin, they're really they're over all of this, and but most of, most importantly, they say they are nervous every time we get a heavy rain like we did today. Now, people here in the Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood say they are used to their streets flooding, they're used to their basements flooding, but good news tonight, most of that water is gone, but they also say just because they are used to it, they're tired of dealing with it. It was there. See the water level? Right there. Retired Detroit firefighter Robert Tucker says this is how high the water was inside his basement here on Hillcrest on Detroit's east side a few weeks ago when the rain swallowed his basement. My furnace, I just had that repaired, water heated, washer dry, everything was just covered. He just got things back to normal and then like clockwork, the rain on Friday found its way back into his basement. And I'm hearing that noise and I'm saying, oh my God. It sounded like a stream. He immediately rushed downstairs. Second time around, my basement is filling up again. All day Friday, he used this pump to suck up the water out of his basement, but he says he's nervous to clean everything back up. I just don't trust it because that's why I left this at right here, because I knew it was going to happen again. I don't know if I should even stay here tonight because we're going to get a lot more rain. Anthony Gordon lives on Maross, also on Detroit's east side. His basement flooded on Friday, too. Water up to the second step. Oh, Lord, not again. You know, it's just terrible. It's just people going through it over in this neighborhood. Not again, because just like Tucker, he also just finished cleaning up the mess from the recent flood. We just cleaned all the stuff out of here, just moved everything disinfected the floors and they are now worried about the next flood and the next flood and the one after that and people here on the east side say they know that the city is saying that this only happens once in a lifetime but they say they are not buying that they believe the problem the issue is bigger than that we're live on the twice east side tonight larry spruill local four so many folks just exhausted yeah, from what they've been through these last two weeks. Yeah, all right, Larry.